we never get to absolute zero? Can we never get to absolute zero? What a wonderful question. I wish I had a wonderful answer to go with it. Here's the problem. There's, there's actually a, uh, a law of physics called the third law of thermodynamics that says you can't get to absolute zero. But well, we don't really know if it's true. <laughs> but, but, but we're pretty sure it is for the following reason. Every time you think of some way of cooling something down a little bit, it means you have, you're trying to get energy out of that thing and make the temperature lower. Well, if you can get energy out, usually there's a way that energy can go in as well. And that always means that there's a competition between taking the energy out and putting the energy in. Now, you can try to make it so that you uh, are favoring getting energy out, but you can't completely stop the energy from going in. And that means you might be able to get colder and colder, but you won't be able to get all the way to absolute zero. Could we go back to my PowerPoint? Uh, because I think that, that one of these slides will illustrate that point a little bit better. Yes, here. Remember the logarithmic thermometer? There's no zero on this logarithmic thermometer. It just keeps going down. You make it a factor of 10 colder, you're not at zero. You make it a factor of 10 colder, you're still not at zero. You make it a factor of 10 colder, you're still not at zero. So you start at a millionth of a degree. Now you're at a 10 millionth of a degree. Now you're at a hundredth millionth of a degree. Now you're at a billionth of a degree. You never get to zero that way. You get closer and closer, but you never get to zero. So that's why we can't get to absolute zero.